you want to be indoors, especially throughout the afternoon as we're elevating the temperatures, elevating the risk. It is going to be more of a concern outside right now. It's a clear start. We've got temperatures in the low 70s, a warmer start. A few high clouds around, but all in all, we're hanging on to the sunshine, but bringing the heat here today as temperatures getting well to 98 degrees. This will make it the hottest day of the year so far, where we look at the record temperature set back just a couple of years ago, 2022 at 102 degrees. But as a reminder, we should be in the low 80s. We do find 80s in the forecast, even some 70s, but we've got to get through the heat first, where, as a reminder, looking at triple digit temperatures in Salt Lake City, on average for the month of June, we typically do see one day at 100 degrees or more. July, of course, as you would expect, even more. August, usually it's one day, but in recent summers, boy, we've been looking at a lot more triple digit temperatures, and we're getting things going just a little bit earlier here for this season as well. Now, excessive heat risk, specifically looking at Salt Lake City today, it's definitely elevated moving into that moderate concern level there for tomorrow a little bit more getting close to high level concerns where again we're going to be looking at a triple digit temperature reading or forecasting for that for tomorrow but Friday we're cooling back down and even looking at a bigger cooling trend heading into the weekend. But with these hot temperatures, high pressure really positioning itself across southeastern Utah in that area, Glen Canyon, Lake Powell, excessive heat warning in effect. Not quite as hot here across northern Utah, but it's at a level that National Weather Service wants to issue a heat advisory that'll be in place as we go into today and tomorrow. Yes, it's the high pressure. It is a cooker. It's really bringing the heat here across the state. It will keep us dry. Maybe seeing a few high clouds over the mountains, but here we go throughout the state. Many spots mid to upper 90s. That's what we're going to find here along the Wasatch Front, close to triple digit temperatures as we look in Milford. We do get into this above the century mark in Moab at 104, 105 in Bullfrog, as well as in St. George at 105. You've already felt the heat, but we're still bringing it with triple digit temperatures. A little bit of a cooling trend heading through the weekend. 90s though looking towards next week. Yeah, we got some cooler air that's going to be sweeping in come next week. But until then, we've got the hot temperatures Thursday. Hot like a chili pepper, 100 expected high, low 90s for Saturday, but then 80s and getting down into the upper 70s Monday and Tuesday. Ooh, that's feeling a little bit more spring like, but feeling the summer heat here for the rest of the work week.